Hey Capricorn, this is Ascension Empress with your June general reading. Thank you for visiting this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you to those of you who have. I really, really appreciate you all. Thank you for your patience and not bothering me for not posting the last couple months because I had to recharge. And I really appreciate your patience. So... This is for Sun, Moon, or Rising Capricorn. Take what resonates with you. I'll be using the Right Away Tarot deck for this reading. And I've just been getting this energy around you just trying to go with the flow, but being practical at the same time. Dodging all these negative Nancys. It's like, if you're around anybody around this time, and even the next few months who is just very low vibrational you just can't stand to be around them it's not even that you don't like them you just you're really receptive to a lot of energy right now especially with this north node and south node energy that's going on and i just tried to do the general right before this i finished it and it was too long to upload i can upload it if y'all want me to just let me know i'll just cut off the beginning and like after I finished, I was, I was like kind of down, and I was like, "Ooh, that was a really good message," you know. But at the same time, I just got this energy of Capricorn. You're tired. It's like you're tired of putting in work and it really not showing, you know, not really having anything to show for. I get some of you do have something to show for, but it's just like still these restrictions around how you can execute your job, how you can execute your vision and what you want to do. And you're, at this point, not wanting to put in so much work. And then you're feeling like you've wasted your time and your energy. That's just where I feel that you are at because that is the energy that I got when I finished your reading and it just wouldn't upload. But I just, sometimes I would just move on, try another sign. But I feel that I'm supposed to be doing your reading, so... Go ahead and get started. I pray that you all are doing well, though, overall, and that this month serves you well. And whatever negative or conflicts that you have, it ends up being in your favor. You know, you just have to get on the good side of it. So, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Get on top of it. But this Queen of Pentacles, you're in your element for this month. This is I'm so glad I continue to just do your reading. <laughs> and you're just feeling you. Like I said, you don't really want to be around anything that is beneath your energy, beneath your vibration. Not to not saying that you're looking down on anyone who it's probably stuck in their head and feeling down and out. You're just really focused on your pinnacle. And you know that the only way that you can really, really make the best of this is if your energy is right. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Going into the past, you have, the, okay, that wants to fall out too. Wow, there, there is that. <laughs> there is that. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So going into the past, you may have been really working really, really hard on a partnership. And like I said, you are tired of putting in work that just doesn't, where you don't meet any reciprocity. You see these two cups, so it's like they're reciprocating each other's energy. And this is a beautiful connection. But you may have felt like you were putting in more work than they were. Whether they were or not, I think you're just moving forward now in the month of June, really wanting still to focus on work. But like I said, having a balance. In the last reading, it really spoke to having a work-life balance. So maybe you have... You had to deal with the fact that you had a partnership, but you also had a lot of work that you had to tend to, and you didn't know how to balance it. And now that your pinnacle is, you know, together and where you want or close to where you want it, I'm getting that you are able to move forward. Let's see. 
let's see because this is still beautiful i don't really get any the last reading the past energy was interesting so like i said if y'all want me to upload it just let me know i haven't deleted it yet at least i don't think <laughs> wow we have the judgment card so going forward it's like you're making a decision a lifestyle decision a spiritual de a decision it's like god is telling you it's time it's time to make a decision use your judgment Ooh. <laughs> and it may be in terms of finances and like i said judgment so someone may be making a judgment in regards to a settlement that you may win because it's like Someone may have got left out, cut. Ah, oh, wow. I got somebody got fired from a job with this. Mm. So it could be a work situation, definitely. Someone got fired from a job, left out, felt rejected, maybe did not get accepted a job opportunity. It's like even if you did get fired, you still still coming out on top. So maybe someone else is offering you something or someone's making a judgment because just like you're still pushing forward maybe you had to walk away from this job situation and you had to leave a job and you just wanted to focus on something that was more that was bringing in more money that could bring you more stability and now that you're able to move forward with that some other people may be feeling left out with this five of pentacles but you gotta go you gotta move forward to make a judgment you knew that I mean, you already knew that because you moved forward with this, walking away. A lot of you, this is really strongly focused on work. He's like, I got a family to feed. And so I'm hearing with a lot of you, you got a family to feed. <laughs> Justice. So some of you may be taking things to court. This may be in relation to a child support case. Someone may old child support someone may have left a family maybe a single mother or a father that feels left out in the cold or feels financially depleted maybe they're taking on the responsibility and things will be made fair things will be made balanced because i get going into the past whoever the soul the soul guardianship relies on is the one that's putting in all this work and it's just like we made this child together we married each other for a reason. You know, whatever the situation is, I need you to pull your weight. That's what I'm getting. Because you're still coming in like this. And you're taking a very natural, down-to-earth approach. You're not being rude. You're not being demanding, overbearing. It's like, I'm, I keep hearing, why should I have to ask you to do what you're supposed to do? Wow. You could be dealing with a Libra. Like I said, this is really strong when it comes to court as well. And you know what? We have this full moon coming up in Sagittarius. And before, actually within maybe tomorrow. I know there's going to be some opposition. A lot of opposition going on with Saturn. You know, we have Mars and Cancer right now. So there could be a lot of aggression, maybe anger, frustration, passion as it relates to the work, our daily routine, our schedule, um, our health, our home, our family. Our career. Especially you, Capricorn. <laughs> and you know, you've been following your intuition with this for the longest. I'm getting... You, like I said, you're very down to earth. You may be making changes with your lifestyle, eating um, more natural, having a more natural balanced diet so that you can be more in tune with your intuition. So I'm getting plant-based with this Queen of Pentacles, plant-based, because you're a Capricorn, you're an earth sign as well. For some of you who don't feel like you have enough money, 
it's like you know how to make it's like you know you don't you're not making a lot of money but you have enough you know you have enough to make things balance you know and it's like y'all know how to go shopping on a budget you know how to come home with a lot of good food that is good for you and your overall well-being you for, you look for those sales okay <laughs> and it all balances out bank statements everything this could also be a final judgment as it pertains to collections that you have debt maybe you're paying that off or it's finally paid off wow we have the page of swords and the nine of pentacles so clearly yeah it could definitely be paid off you were taking action towards that um that is your focus i'm getting credit 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 okay <laughs> that is your focus going forward you have you have to go within it's like you already know that what you have to do to handle it because you don't want to have to always owe somebody you don't want to have to deal with the debt and things are coming into balance maybe the courts are helping you come up with a payment plan hmm. but either way you, the judgment that you make and the action that you're taking it's like you're taking quick action on this judgment you're making a quick judgment and it's a rational one because you're already grounded you're very grounded this month and you are able whether you've paid it off or not yet you know what you got to do to move forward and you have no problem doing that hence why you come off looking so independent so responsible like you can still you're still being able to take care of you like i said you can go to the grocery store get your kale get all your greens and everything and you didn't even spend fifty dollars meanwhile People have like $200 left over after pay. they pay all their bills and they claim they don't have enough money for groceries. It depends on what you get. It depends on how you balance your money. Are you going out to eat every now and then? Are you going out to eat often? Because not only does that deplete your energy if it's fast food, it depletes your bank account because that money adds up every now and then. So I get that you know that. I'm getting that this high priestess is... Someone who has a great deal of knowledge when it comes to financial management. That's interesting. So some of you may be financial planners or you're just so skillful that you could be one, but you're really just your own. <laughs> we have the three of cups. So like I said, going out spending money on things that just don't serve you anymore you're like no nah, that's beyond me that i just i can't get with that anymore or you may be seeing other people getting together those that you used to get with family friends it's like they're broke or they're feeling left out while you are able to balance everything and here you are just wanting to celebrate someone may be feeling left out because they don't have the financial means um, but there are so many other things to do. And plus, they shouldn't be trying to force themselves in a situation when their money isn't right anyway. You know? <laughs> Santa Pinnacles. Really. Whatever you are dealing with, Capricorn, this is... This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You're taking a very, very responsible approach for this month. I'm really glad that I ended up doing this reading, um, even though the other one wouldn't go through. Because this is another perspective that just really speaks to the last reading I just tried to do. And it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You're very intuitive this month. Very grounded, down to earth. Um, you, you are putting in work. You are putting in the work with whatever partnership you feel serves you and your highest good and your health, your holistic health. And I just, I wish you all nothing but peace and blessings this month and going forward. Let me know how this resonates with you and I will see you all very soon. Thank you again for visiting this channel and take care. Bye.